uh, back there just a minute ago. Couldn't wait to get up here. Why? We're alive. We're well. It's the Lord's day, and we're here to lift him up and bless his holy name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise this morning if you appreciate it. Like Sister Sheila said, a few weeks Easter's coming up, and um, that by far is my favorite day of the year. Um, I don't know, it just is, has always felt different for me. Um, church service feels different, all day feels different, and uh, above all, that is the day that I got saved. That is the day that I give my heart to the Lord, so it always holds a very special place in my heart. And uh, we're just so glad uh, that the Lord showed His love and showed His mercy. And You know, where would we be if the Lord was not long-suffering towards us? Have you ever thought about that? Where would you be at this morning if His long-suffering toward you, for you, for me was not there? I got a pretty good idea of where we would be. But I want to get into our prayer request right now. I talked to uh, Brother Billy about an hour ago. He said to request prayer for his niece. I don't know her name, but I uh, said she uh, was sick with COVID. And he said it's messing with her lungs. But above all that, he said it's really having an effect on her heart. And uh, that's not good. So uh, remember her in prayer. Um, then you remember my daughter with her back, her elbow. Um, my son now, I think he tore his hamstring. That's why he's not here. Uh, walking wounded over there. So, <laughs> and he's a little bit down about it. But uh, uh, remember them this morning, if you will. So who has something they want to bring for the church in prayer this morning by uplifted hand? Brother Art and Sister Edna and the whole family have a real bad problem with their conjunctivitis with their eyes. Pray for them, please. Conjunctivitis, a.k.a. pink eye. No, it's worse than pink eye. It's a oh. new strain. The little one was in the strain. hospital. It's a new strain. Brittany, yeah. New strain. Amen. Remember that. Yeah, keep them in prayer. Your dad's been really, really sick. Your mother, she took a fall last week. I request prayer. When she went down, she bruised this face, broke their glasses. And now she got the pink eye, she can't wear her glasses. Mm. Keep them all in prayer. And for the babies, and keep Cody in prayer, especially we press for Cody. Amen. Lift them up this morning, yes. if you would. In the back, Sister Brenda. Um, first of all, everybody, I want to thank each and every one of you all for all your prayer for my sister. She's doing good, so I'm not to see you all. You can to pray for my family. Amen. Amen. Good to see you. Good to be back. Spandy. Remember me. I go thirsty for any topic. Amen. Sure will. Keep that in prayer. It's Gloria. She's keep me in your prayers. Amen. Remember Sister Gloria this morning. I see. Oh, thank God. I wasn't skipping you on purpose. <laughs> oh, thank God. Well, I got the prayer line last week. I had these shooting pains ever so often in my head. Sometimes it almost bring me down. And my energy level was completely gone. And now, no, not another pain I Try to have one one night. I said, oh, no, we're not, we're not, we're not going there. We're, no. And energy, I can get up and go again. Thank God. Amen. 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 That's all God. That's all God. Oh, yes. Well, I pray for my sister. She's really having a hard time with her husband. He, um, she can't hardly go and take a shower or anything. He'll take off and take off up the road and she has to go find him and everything. So she was, I talked to her last night. She was crying. She was so upset about him. And uh, she really needs your prayers. Amen. Remember these things this morning. Don't forget. And I thank God for my, my sugar is way down. And I praise the Lord. All right. Amen. 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 Um, I have a special one spoken. And just remember me. I'm just going through a tough time right now. Amen. Bless her Lord. Anybody else? Special unspoken. Amen. God knows. Remember my sister's fiance, my mom called last night. Um, he's got cancer of the throat. And the cancer's so bad it's already ate some of his throat. So just remember him. He is a Christian, but pray that my sister through this will give her heart to the Lord. Amen. 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 Remember that. A lot of needs here this morning. 
Um, Sister Glory Randolph texted me last mm -hmm. night. Uh, she wants prayer. She said she just got out of the hospital. Yep. She had a stent put in uh, on Wednesday. She had an 80% blockage in her heart. Mm -hmm. She thanks the Lord that um, everything went okay. And uh, she has three more health problems that she needs um, the Lord to work out for her. So she asked for prayer. Yeah, they've been going through a rough time of it too. Her and her husband uh, been separated different places uh, for a while. He's been sick, been down. Uh, so remember them in prayer this morning. I got a, with a testimony. My mother had this hole in her arm here. She, they scheduled her for surgery. So I had some anointed oil where Brother Paul had given me. And we took that oil and poured it over that, and then she kept spraying it with peroxide, and it's completely healed up, and they had her scheduled for surgery, but there's nothing now. Yep. All right. That's good. I'd like to hear good testimonies. Anybody else before we pray? Miss anybody? All right. If you're able, come gather around the altar. If not, back ahead at your seats. Take these things of the Lord in prayer this morning. Right, if you will, let's stand. Get ready for our morning worship.
wash away my sin Nothing but the blood of Jesus What can make me whole again Nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh, precious is the flow That makes me white as snow No other fount I know Nothing but the blood of Jesus Pour my part and this I see Nothing but the blood of Jesus For my cleansing this my plea Nothing but the blood of Jesus Thank you. 
time for our communion this morning. If you don't have your cup and wafer, there some still back there, plenty still back there. Love the communion service, and it's so much more and it goes so much deeper than just eating a wafer and drinking some juice. It goes a lot, lot deeper than that. Words will, will fail us to explain what it really means and uh, the impact that it has on His people. And I want to read, as we always do, this morning, we take it from the book of 1 Corinthians, and it's chapter 11, and we'll read verses 23, 24, and 25. Listen what the Word of God says. It says, For I have received of the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Let's lift our hands this morning and worship the Lord. Father, we're so very, very thankful. Lord, for all of the sacrifices that's been made. So thankful for that ultimate sacrifice that was made on Mount Calvary. The body which was beaten and broken. The stripes upon the back for our healing. The blood that ran down from the Son of God to cleanse us and cover us from all of our sins. Lord, this morning, we do this in remembrance of You, Lord. Commemorating that which was done for us, for our benefit, Lord. Lord, we thank You this morning as we praise You, as we lift our voices in worship to You, Lord, as we honor You with songs of praise. Lord, we just want You to forever know, Lord, that we love You. Lord, we'll keep this till that day that you come. We'll keep this, Lord, in remembrance of you until the day that you call the church away, Lord. We love you and we appreciate you. In Jesus' name. Remain standing. worshiping with us this morning. Satan comes along and tries to mess things up. All alone and broken hearted trying to calm the raging battle in my mind In search of many answers that my troubled soul just couldn't seem to find would change the rest of my life. I found refuge from the 
communion service, Lord. Lord, we're praying that you would lead us now into the next part of our service. Lord, I pray may there be a manifestation this morning of your word, of your power, of your presence, of your spirit. Forever give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes you can sense and you can feel burdens of people. You can see it. Some of them wear it. And you may be here this morning and you may be weary and you may be feeling oppressed. You may be feeling pushed down. To let you know, you are not alone. There are people praying. And above all that, you may be feeling some kind of way, but I also feel the presence of God in this sanctuary. I really do. And you know what? It only takes just a moment, just a split second in God's presence to change things and to transform you from one place to another. I've had Him do it. I really have. And listen, if you'll trust Him and if you'll believe Him, I said, if you will trust Him and believe Him. You know, a lot of times, we don't let God work for us. I'll say that again. We don't let God work for us. We literally handcuff God through unbelief. He cannot 
move in unbelief and doubt, you've got to have faith. Amen. Amen. I want to read this morning just one verse. You'll see it up here if you don't have your Bibles. This come to me earlier in the week and uh, been happening this way a lot. One verse will come to me and, and, and it's strange how it works sometimes. Sometimes I'll get thoughts, I'll get ideas. I've been walking outside. I've been walking through the woods. I've looked at nature. I've seen things and I've had God speak to me through them things for a message, something to preach on, but uh, a couple of words, a phrase that I was reading and, and thinking about earlier this week came to us and we believe that it's going to be a blessing for you today. Amen. And it's book of first John chapter three and it's chapter two. It's funny sometimes, man, I'll get to reading. I got reading this. I'll, I don't know how many times I'll read my scriptures before we actually get up here. And uh, I got reading it this morning and started going off on something else. And I said, I have to save that for another time. I don't want to get sidetracked here. But listen to what the Word of God says. It says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when He shall appear, and I don't think it's going to be awfully long, we shall be like Him. Glory to God. <laughs> that felt so good. I think I'll say that. That's not even the verse I'm preaching on. We shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. And that last part right there is what I want to concentrate on this morning. Last five words. And it says this. See Him as He is. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. See Him as He is. For who He is. What He is. And this is a powerful, powerful, powerful scripture. I like what it says. Listen, it says, now. Right now, we are the sons of God. Amen. Right now. Not tomorrow, but right now. I know Jesus was the son of God. Praise him for that. But it says right now, I want you to look around. If you're saved, if your name is written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, this is talking about you. <laughs> that ought to make you feel good from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. And I think it would do us good this morning. Satan, listen to me. Not only me, listen. Listen to what the Word of God says. I don't declare, but the Word of God declares now. We are the sons of God. You just don't have one to contend with anymore. Oh, hallelujah. Good God, I'm going to take a lap here in a minute. You don't have one to deal with anymore. When he died and resurrected and went back, guess what? You got a lot to deal with now, Satan. You thought you had him where you wanted. You thought you had what you wanted. Oh, Jesus is dead. No, he's gone. No, guess what? It just multiplied the problem for you, devil. Hallelujah. If you love him, raise your hands and praise the king. And as I get started this morning, there is a big difference in how the world views Jesus. And you know what? I think this morning, how many of you think it would be all right if we just preached about Jesus? <laughs> there is a big difference in the way the world sees Jesus and views Him compared to the Word of God and what it reflects to us on how we view Him. And I want to say this this morning. I want you to see him as he is. Yes. Amen. You know, he hasn't changed at all. Yeah. Amen. 
He said, Behold, I am the same. Yes. Yesterday. Yes. He's, he was the same when you woke up. He'll be the same when you go to bed. Tomorrow when you wake up, he will be the same again. People come, people go, people change. But the word of God and the son of God will never change. See him as he is in that. Good Lord. And I've talked to a lot of people throughout the years and some of the opinions would surprise you as who they view the Lord and who they think He is compared to who He really is. Amen. And I've talked to church folk and sinner alike and I remember talking to these boys one time and they had this image of the Lord in their mind. They thought that He was just vengeful and they thought that he was roaming around heaven just waiting to zap you every time you messed up or stepped out of line. You know what? It might sound comical, but it's sad. Because you know what? Through the eyes of the Word of God, I don't see Him like that. But I see Him in a different light. I see Him that he is not willing that any should perish. <laughs> through the eyes of God, through the word of God, I see Jesus as he is. He is not willing that any should perish, but that all, praise God, should have eternal life. For God so loved the world, he's not up there ready to zap you every time you mess up or step out of line that would overstep the boundaries of grace. But God, praise his name. Oh, ain't you glad this morning that while you were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. I'm not worried about how they look at it or hate how they view it. I'm worried about the Word of God and how it portrays it. If it says He's full of love, then praise God, I will see Him as being full of love. And let me tell you something this morning. Let me tell the world morning. There's no sin that you have committed. Praise God. There's nothing that you have done. There's nothing that you can do. Praise God. That is going to push you away from him. Jesus one day. Hallelujah. And the word of God proclaims it. He picked up his cross and he carried it to the top of the hill and he laid down his life for you. This is how I see him. Oh praise God. This is the Jesus that I see through the word of God. Oh, hallelujah. Listen, he did not go kicking and screaming. Oh, praise God. But he went as a lamb. Let praise God before his, but to the slaughter. Yet he opened not his mouth. This is how I see him. This is how I view him. He said, nobody is going to take my life. Oh, hallelujah. He said, I'm going to lay it down for you. No way it takes my life. I have power to lay it down. I also have power to take it up. And thank God three days later, praise God, it was not possible that death could hold him. So God freed him from the pains of death. We've got power over the grave, over hell. Oh, hallelujah. Death, where is thy sting? Grave, where is thy victory? This is how I view him. Listen to me this morning. You don't have to worry. Praise God when it's your He'll be waiting for me. I don't have to cross Jordan alone. I see him for this. Praise God. He's going to come get me. I said he's going to come get me when it's my time. And I don't think it's going to be too awfully long. He's going to come get the church. I said he's going to come get the church. This is how I see Jesus. He's coming back. I said he's coming back. They sung it this morning. He's coming soon. There's no doubt. Get ready. 
See him as he is. You know, hallelujah. Go ahead and praise him. You are in the house of God. Listen, we believe in putting our hands together. We believe in saying amen. We believe in shouting hallelujah. Praise God. We believe in giving honor where honor is due and praise where praise is due. I guarantee you won't be escorted out if you say amen in here. Because I see him through the word of God as a risen savior. As one who rose from the grave. And you know what? I've seen so many things and how things have been so twisted over the years in churches. Preachers will act like they're absolutely unapproachable. I've seen them line up and have their people with them and just escort them to cars, escort them here and there. Don't touch them. Don't, don't approach unto this man of God. That's not how it's supposed to be. Ain't you glad he ain't like that? Listen, normally when you got somebody in a position of power or authority, you got a circle, you got a whole thing that you got to go through to get to him. Jesus didn't act like that. Now, a lot of folks may view him as that. But listen, he didn't say, get away from me, everybody, but he said, come unto me. <laughs> you may not be able to talk to your preacher or your pastor, your teacher, your favorite evangelist, but guess what? See me as I am. I'm saying, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, Jesus said, and learn of me, for I am meek, and I am lowly at heart. Ain't you thankful this morning that he is approachable? Praise God. I see him through the word of God as he is. Oh, praise God. I don't have to worry about bothering him if I'm a sick in the middle of the night oh praise God I can come to him any time day or night the veil was torn down the door is open and I can go to him and you can go to him oh when you're burdened down when everybody's turned their back on you when they're talking about you guess what he said come unto me come unto me the world may not want you the church may not want you your friends and family may not want you but you come on to me praise God and you will find rest for your weary souls see him as he is hallelujah love him this morning lift your hands and praise him I'm just enjoying myself in the house of God now listen that word meek When he says, I am meek and lowly in heart, that word meek, I looked it up. Listen to this. Jesus said, I am meek. And that word meek, I wrote it down. It's, it means easily imposed on. Don't you like that? In other words, you're not bothering me, son. <laughs> you're not bothering me, daughter. Amen, my door's open any time, day or night. Come, you're not bothering me. Others may not want anything to do with you. Come on in and impose on me, praise God. They didn't die for you, I did, bless God. They didn't rise for you, I rose for you. See me as I am, says Jesus. See me as I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The times we've had you know what? We've been to church and we've had good service and I thank God for it. Looking back over the years at what He's done, we've seen people saved, we've seen people blessed, we've seen people healed and the power that's 
And the anointing that has flowed through this church. Yes, Lord. One of these days, we're never going to have to leave that presence or atmosphere again. Never going to have to leave it ever again. Hallelujah, because I see him as he is. One of these days, listen, it gets hard at times, but it's worth the fight. It gets hard at times. Sometimes that cross that you carry gets hard at times. But you know what? An inspiration to me. I look back to the Word of God and I see Jesus as He, as he is carrying His cross. Mm. Carrying His cross. And you know what? He was carrying every single one of us. That ought to make you praise Him. He was carrying every single one of us. So when I get down and when I feel like I can't go on anymore, I see him as he is. Praise God, walking up Calvary's hill. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God, carrying you up Calvary's hill. Carrying me up Calvary's hill. That's who he is. He is the Savior of the world. And just thinking about what it's going to be like that day when it's finally all said and done. Listen, I don't know about you, but I want to hear those words. Well done. See, this is, a, this is how I view him. This is who he is. He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. And if you stay faithful unto the end, hallelujah, there's a crown of life laid up in store for those that love Him. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Praise God. It may have got hard at times. Praise God. It may have felt like you were all alone. But don't you like? I like them. That, that's saying that they have the footprints of when that person looked back in their life and they said, Lord, times of, of my life I only see one set of, of footprints. Why did you leave me God during the tough times? Why did you forsake me Lord when I had the roughest go of my life? Oh and that saying says God looks down and he says my child my precious precious child praise God. Oh hallelujah I'm getting ready to have a fit. That single set of footprints that you see it was not yours. It was Those hard times in your life, I picked you up. I put you on my back like I did the cross. And I carried you through the hard times. I carried you through the rough times. Oh, hallelujah. The one foot set, the, the set of footprints that you see, they were mine. Because in yourself, you could never make it. But praise God, down deep inside, there is a river. I said there. He said, Lord, if thou will. 
If thou will, thou can make me clean. Thou can make me whole. If you will, next time you start seeing the Lord in a different light, next time you start doubting his willingness, let me really show you who he is. Let me show you who he is. Let me show you how I see him. After that boy got done saying, Lord, if thou will, thou can make me clean. What did Jesus say? He said, I will. I will. That's who he is. That's who he is. Don't you ever doubt the Lord's willingness to touch you. Don't you ever doubt his willingness to lay his anointed nail scarred hand upon you and bring you up out of the mire and clay. Don't you ever to heal the sickness that ravages your body. Don't you ever doubt his willingness to perform a miracle in your life. Don't you ever doubt his willingness by God to have a bride unto himself that is spotless. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, that's washed in the blood. That's washed in the blood. He's coming back. I said he's coming back. Don't ever doubt his willingness. Lord, if thou will, I will, so let me cut you off right there. Oh, I will be thou clean. Hallelujah. See him as he is. I said, see him as he is. See him as he is. Praise God. I'm hoping this morning that doubt and fear is going to leave your life and faith is going to come in and restore everything that's been lost. He is a restorer. I said he is a restorer. That's who he is. Hallelujah. That's who he is. Keep your minds upon the Lord this morning. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we don't doubt your willingness. Lord, to perform that which is needed. We don't doubt your willingness, Lord, to heal. Lord, this morning, we know what the report says. We know what it means. Stage four, kidney failure. But Lord, they don't see you for who you are. But I do, God. These people do. Right now, God, I'm asking you, I'm believing. I'm speaking to this sickness and taking authority over it. We're going to cleanse this sickness. We're going to cleanse it and purge it from this body. I command that these organs work as you created them to do, God. I'm standing upon the word. I'm believing in the word. Lord, by your stripes we are healed. Lord, from this day forward, God, may they be normal and may never trouble this body again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and praise his name. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet with me this morning. Hallelujah. Now we are the sons of God. When he shall appear. You know what? That verse there doesn't leave anything to doubt. It says he shall appear. Many times as I've read that, I just now call, he shall appear. Yes, amen. Why? Yes, because that is who he is. Hallelujah. Yes, <laughs> Aren't you glad this morning? Aren't you glad to be in the house of God this morning? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you're here this morning and you need prayer, I want you to come now. I want you to come up front. As they get us all ready, come up front. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else before we start? Thank you, Lord. 
so glad for his presence, so glad for his power, so glad for his anointing. On those of you who really believe, I want you to slip your hands up. I want you to agree in prayer with this right here, right now. I see Jesus the same way the Word of God portrays Him. He was surrounded many times. The people thronged Him. A few that would reach out with faith, if you reach out with faith this morning. That is what moves the hand of God, plain and simple. That's what moves the hand of God. That's who He is. That's who He is. Go ahead and sing. Somebody touched me, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touched me, glory, glory, glory. Somebody touched me, I know it was a hand of the Lord. While I was praying, somebody touched me while I was praying. Somebody touched me while I was praying. Praying, somebody touched me. I know it was the hand of the Lord. Oh, glory, glory. Somebody touched me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touched me. Glory, glory, glory. Somebody touched me. You know it was the hand of the Lord.
every head bowed and every eye closed. No one looking around. You've heard God's word this morning. We're in His presence. We are on holy ground. This morning, if you do not know Him, maybe you knew the way once and you drifted away. Maybe you've never been saved. If you're here this morning and you know things are not right, I want you to just lift your hand up and take it back down. That's not going to save you. Bless that hand. Anybody else? Real quick, slip your hand up and take it back down. It's time to get things right. It's time to get things straightened out. Now, if you're here and you raise your hand, I want you to get out of that seat and come down to this altar and we're going to pray and we're going to get things straightened out. If you would, while they sing, we'll tarry just for a minute. Think about it. If you'll come. There's two. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and sing it this morning as unto the Lord. Always room. We want to thank you for everyone who's come, Lord. We're asking a blessing on everyone that's walked through these doors this morning and everyone who will hear, who will watch. But we're asking and praying a special blessing upon them, Lord, for their faithfulness. Lord, may they see it. May they experience it. Lord, may it be manifest. we pour our hearts out to you this morning. Lord, you've just overwhelmed us with your love and with your mercy and with your grace. Lord, for this we're eternally grateful. Lord, everything that's been done, everybody who's been touched and blessed, Lord, it's all because of you. All glory and all praise. And all honor goes to you. Lead us, guide us, and direct us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand to praise Him.